What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Pretty Co. Row, Conspiracy Row, and the name of our channel is Interstellar Perspective. And I had some interesting conversations with y'all yesterday, so I'm going to respond to some of the comments and um, also have a topic for today's discussion. So, um, a lot of people in the comments, or not even a lot of people, there were a few people in the comments who had hinted at thinking that maybe that blue face would try to sacrifice Krishan, you know, and okay, let's just get the elephant out the room, because I know a lot of people don't necessarily believe in it, or think that it could happen, or think that that's something that people do, but coincidentally or not, a lot of people end up dying once these people get to take it off. Like Nori said, there's a door, there's a door, and once you reach a certain level in your, once you reach a certain level in your career, he said once you become a platinum selling artist, that you have, there's three doors that you have to choose from. One could be sacrifice, one could be, you know, some gay stuff, and the other one is you pretty much on your own. So, a lot of people was hitting at the fact that they felt like Blueface would try to use Krishana Jr. for a sacrifice. And, y'all, I'm going to go even a little further and say whack 100. And, first of all, Blueface isn't hot. You get what I'm saying? Like, he's not, it's not like he's a top selling artist. He hasn't been in a long time. So, I, I think that he could try to use them to reboot his career. And I just don't, it's just something so sinister in his energy when it comes to her, how he's willing to use her, how he's willing to use the baby, even Jaden. Like, people keep looking at Jaden like she's in, she's so much better or like she in a better situation. And how can y'all be blinded by the fact that he the same nigga with her, if not worse? She been going through that shit since she was in middle school or high school. Like, she got to have some kind of mental disorder. <laughs> but he can't sac He could sacrifice Jaden, but he not going to sacrifice, you know, like, he built a bond with her. He's built a bond with those children. Not saying that it can't happen, but Krishan will ultimately be a bigger sacrifice. Like, she's out in the public. It's almost like Aaliyah. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's giving me a Leah vibes. And, you know, I just want to send protection and prayers over to Krishan because she's dibbling and dabbling in the industry, but she don't really know what she's getting herself into. It seems like she's trying to build a closer connection with God, or maybe she always had it. But, honey, like, the type of games that they play out there, you're going to need a little bit more than just prayer. I'm sure everybody's praying and praying on each other so i wouldn't even i wouldn't even put it past them throwing something spiritual at her um putting her under spiritual attacks shout out to um it was a tarot reader and i'm gonna try to go grab her stuff and link it she had did a video and she had looked up she wants to know whack 100 feelings towards krishan and the energy that came out like calculating plotting Manipulative, manipulative, like they waiting on that girl. They they gonna try to set her up. They gonna try to set her up to catch her slipping. Like yeah, I heard about the fight and not sure if it's true or not because they not speaking on it. And surprisingly, they quiet. So maybe it is true. And Blueface trying to keep it under wraps so to protect his other baby mama, or maybe it's just all made up. But. I just feel like no matter how close he gets to that girl or no how, no matter how much attention he show her here and there, like, like uh, ultimately, like, he got a plan for her life. She got to snatch her life back. Shit, it's not even his plan. He up under whack. Whack got a plan for her life. Shit, whack probably invested a lot into the blue girls club and it's a blue period. And so he's probably still looking to recoup, you know, the recoup with interest you know from his investment he looking at her like his investment and bitch you running off on the plug 
that's how he looking at her. I don't put it, you know, they all tied up in the gang politics. Krishan, baby, watch out. Watch out. Watch how you move. Because the thing is, when they do try to catch you slipping, and they will, but when they do try to catch you slipping, they're going to try to make it, they're going to try to publicize it as much as they can because all they care about is destroying you in the public's eye. They don't care if you go run off somewhere and be quiet and keep to yourself and just take care of your baby. They will be happy to never see you again. But the thing is, you out here and you more famous than them. You got more motion than them. You getting more attention than them. You getting more views than them. And he don't like that. Like he, Blueface is literally in competition with Krishan. And I just want her to see that. He's going to try to one-up you every chance he get. He going to try to stick it to you, make you seem like a bad mother. He going to continue to attack your motherhood. I just don't... Oh, gosh. Like, baby. If you... Ain't no right way to be with a man like Bluefax. I don't care if you was his only baby mama, his first baby mama. You been with him since elementary. I don't care. It's no right way to be with a man like that. Look how he treat his mom. Look how he treat the women. He has no respect for anything or anybody. The nigga will sell his goddamn self. Blueface will put sell his self, y'all. And I'm sure, like, I'm so, I'm so sure of it. I stand on that. Like, I, like, he will sell his soul, his kids' soul, Jaden's soul. He gonna put motherfucking Krishan soul up for auction. Like, he just that type of nigga. Like just scandalous he do anything for fame just desperate for attention like he really just a little boy out crying for attention and she should how can i say this don't doubt the lengths that he'll go to for that attention and they say money they not doing it for money yeah money is the bonus he literally doing it for attention like he a little boy crying out even his mom like i've never seen some people who needed so much therapy in my life but back to whether i think i so i think that eventually they'll try to use krishan as a sacrificial lamb like they'll try to use her as a sacrificial lamb martyr her and build off of her goddamn name like bitch if you ain't gonna be with us, you know what they how they say, um, roll with us or get rolled on. Yeah, get down or lay down. Yeah, eventually they gonna they gonna press her. Eventually they gonna press the issue. They might have some bitches jump her, try to catch her in a spot at one of her little performances. Like it's only the the more the better it get for her. The worse he gonna try to make it for her. The more she do positive for herself, for her image, for her son, you know, in public, the more she's seen, the more the public is liking her, the more emotion she got, the more envious and hateful this man is gonna be to her. Because in his eyes, bitch, I made you. You only here because of me. Like, and I don't doubt that he would try to take her out. Whether it's by his own hand or through sacrifice. I think if Krishan was to, what would be the icing on the cake? He probably has some sympathy for her. But I think what would be the icing on the cake is if she got another nigga. He'd be like, oh, take that bitch out. Fuck it. The baby too. But, you know, um, God forbid the entire situation and i'm speaking nothing but blessings and positivity over her life i just want her to protect herself i just want her to realize how serious her situation is honey and, and realize how fragile it is you're not in a stable situation even in all your fame even in the fortune even in your 2.6 million dollar home baby them bricks still break glass walls. And you you living in a glass house right now, Krishan. And I know, like, this is how she make her money. And this is what she do. But, whew, it got to be exhausting to have every single bit of your life 
being streamed and having the public tune in and opinionated and be opinionated about every little thing in your life. But the good thing, the good part in that is, you know, whether it's the public, your family, your friends, your mentors, like sometimes people can see things that you can't see because your judgment is clouded. Sometimes it takes the person from outside of the situation to be able to say, hey, you need to take a step back and look at that again because you're missing something. So I hope that she's gaining something from this experience. And quite frankly, I'm glad that she's going through it in public and not in private because you know how it gets when people go through stuff in private and all that pressure is on them you know they tend to break down so i'm glad that she has the support of her fans and her family and you know we'll just leave it with that but she needs to really be careful when when it comes to blue face and she needs to be even more careful when it comes to whack 100 whack 100 like saucy said i think he really in love with blue face and that's why he's always had like ill feelings towards Krishan even when she was in the house. It wasn't because oh Krishan just didn't get along with everybody and she was breaking shit and she was doing it. Yeah, that might have helped. But he also saw how much that blue face loved Krishan. So that irritated him. Cause he like this little bitch ain't shit. You are doing all this like nigga, like get your shit together. But like when you in love, sometimes you you don't listen to people. And that's what Wax saw. He saw that Blue wasn't listening to him when it came to Krishan. He was losing control over Blue when it came to Krishan. Krishan had a hold over Blue that Wax didn't have. She had power over him that he didn't have. You know? It, that's just a weird... They just got a weird relationship to me. But yeah, Wax is definitely sneaky. Um... And girl, just be careful. But that's all I got to say. Y'all let me know what y'all how y'all feel about it. You know, drop down in the comments. Don't forget to like the video and um send one up for your girl Krishan, y'all, because y'all know she needed. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.